And new at midday, we do want to get back to that story that yes. we told you about at the beginning of the newscast because a critical piece of launch equipment made indicator is headed to Florida's Kennedy Space Flight Center right now. Wait, 31's Dan Schaefer has more from Decatur's ULA plant with the role this piece of equipment will actually play in putting humankind back on the moon. Artemis 3 is the NASA mission that will finally land Americans back on the surface of the moon for the first time in more than 50 years, but they're not going to get there without the critical piece of ULA and Boeing hardware inside that protective housing. The interim cryogenic propulsion stage, or ICPS, provides that final push to send astronauts in the Orion spacecraft to the moon. ULA and Boeing developed this upper stage right here in North Alabama. It's been used for years with ULA's Delta IV rockets, and NASA needed it for the first three Artemis missions. It worked flawlessly for the uncrewed Artemis I mission, but for Artemis II and III, there are lives at stake. Knowing that we've got astronauts on top and that we're flying back to the moon uh, and a part of that nation's program, uh, it's just an incredible honor and uh, comes with it that added responsibility. This is the last of its kind, ICPS. Beginning with Artemis IV, NASA is developing a new, much more powerful upper stage that will be capable of flying more astronauts and equipment to the moon and eventually to Mars. From here, the ICPS on board the barge named Rocket Ship will head to the Mississippi River downriver to the Gulf of Mexico, around the coast of Florida, to Kennedy Space Center, where it will be processed and tested for the upcoming Artemis III launch in a few years. At the wharf at ULA's Rocket Factory Indicator, I'm Dan Schaefer, Way 31 News.